Hey everyone, Simon from MTV Mag here. You guys wanted to learn how to do a nose bonk, so that's what we're gonna learn how to do today. So it might sound silly, but a fun tip somebody told me when I was just too grom learning how to do these is to put a can or some small object on the ground and practice bonking that with your front tire first. If you can get your tire right on that small object, then it shows you're gonna have the bike control to be able to do it on a jump or some other bigger feature. So, for example, you could just put a rock down or a can or something like that and give that a try first. So one of the easiest ways to learn how to do the nose bonk is to find a nice tabletop jump that has a super flat top to it. You can do a nose bonk out on the trails and on other features, but if you're just learning, this is gonna be the easiest spot to do it. A jump similar to this one. Something with no mandatory gap and a nice flat surface on top to keep the momentum of your front wheel across when you go ahead and bonk it, and then a good landing to finish on. So once you've figured it out on something small, it gives you a good idea of what you need to do with your bike and it gives you a good feeling of where to put that front wheel. So let's try taking it to a tabletop jump. So you're going to want to use your shoulders and your arms a lot in this motion. It's kind of like pulling up to do a bunny hop and then as soon as you're in the air for that bunny hop, pushing your front tire back down to the ground again. And you can always practice that on flat ground first. So as you spot that section where you want your front tire to go, it's gonna happen really quickly, especially on a small jump. So you're gonna wanna look at that spot, push down towards that spot with your arms, and as soon as you feel that, feel that tire hit, you're gonna wanna look forward towards the landing, which is where you wanna go next, and you wanna pull back up, kind of like doing a bunny hop again, and that's gonna get your bike up and over the hump and landing at the, at the spot where you normally would if you hit the jump with uh, a faster speed. So it's a little bit cringeworthy sometimes, but I think slow motion actually works really well for this how-to because it allows you to see what my body's doing when I'm doing this nose bonk. And as you can see, when I go off the lip, I pull up like I'm jumping normally. I spot my section where I'm going to bonk. And then after that, I look ahead towards the next feature or the next jump and I pull back up a bit to get me back up and over the landing so that I can keep my speed and maybe even hit the next jump. So remember to spot that section where you want your front wheel to touch. Push through with your elbows and your arms. Once you feel the bonk, pull back up like a bunny hop using your arms and following through with your hips to get your bike up and over the landing. Thanks for watching everybody. This how-to is actually really easy to do. It's super fun, it's stylish. It's something that you can do when you're going into a jump too slow to completely jump over. You can bonk it instead. It's something you can take out to the trails. If there's a little flat spot on the side, you can bonk it. Um, it's just a cool thing to do when you're pedaling back out of the trails and you finished. It allows you to just keep having fun and be playful on the bike. So um, hope you have fun learning this one and stay tuned for next week's video.